everybody, this is Harry Jacobs and I am the North of 60 Gamer and welcome! Today we are going to be looking at a game that came to my attention on one of the Facebook pages. I believe it was Board Games for One and the game is Alf Knoll. What attracted me to this is it seems like the theme is a very Lovecraftian theme. So let's go down to the table. Let's open the box, take a look what's inside. Let's organize it and let's get playing. It is a solo game and you know how I love solo games. Also, a good candidate for me for cruising. And I'm also going off to the, a little surgery. Maybe it's a good game to take to play on a small desk while I'm stuck in bed for two or three days. Well, let's go take a look and see if that's gonna work out for me. You only have one goal, summoning Baphomet, the Sabbath goat. Just play your cards right, thin out your deck, and prepare the three keys. Easier said than done, as a nasty interferences may hinder your every step of the way that thwart your plans. What are you waiting for? Open the grimoire and start the ritual. I'll here we are down at the table, and here is Alf Noel. You can see you got a pentagram here, and it is from Capstone Games. And Tony Bordell is the designer, and Alex Lee is the artist. And a little shot at the back, and it is strictly a card game. It is for one player, 20 minutes, ages 12 and up. Uh, apparently, there's 63 cards, six wooden tokens, a wooden book pedestal and a rule book well should we confirm that yeah let's get that open so here we are we're going to just give that an open we're going to get the uh, um, shrink wrap off small box games you know how i love small box games uh we just did solar one deck sorry we just did one decks galaxy which i'm busy working on right now very nice nice tokens Ooh, we have some uh, decks of cards. What the heck size are these? Holy Moses. I have never seen a size like this. It's bigger than the standard deck. These are the standard magic size and these are bigger than magic. Wow, wow, I don't know what size these are because they're not 63 and a half, and I don't know if you can get something, I might have, oh, I might have a 70, but usually the 70 comes at 110, so this is only about uh, 89 and a half or 90 years, so I'm not sure what the heck we're doing here. And then we have this nice little wooden pedestal, just like that. That's Those are pretty nice components, considering the, um, game wasn't that expensive but really hurt me was the uh, shipping more than the game itself but th that's the game and this is the rules I guess we are not going to be uh, sleeving it because I have no idea if I even have sleeves that fit this bill um, we'll take a look and see I don't know can't promise anything Give me a moment, let me see what I have, and then we'll explore this game. It is, the aim of the game is to perform a ritual and summon Baphomet. Okay, what does designer say about this? Uh, oh, you can have your own reference cards and do your own design. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, take a look at it and see what we can do here. We'll be right back. So, I am not 100% certain, but we have unboxed this game. There are no sleeve sizes for these. We're just going to have to suck it back. Starting with the rules, right here, we have set up our grimoire, and the cards are ordered. So we have our cover card, then the circle card, preparation, fasting, fumigation, exorcism, reading list, and hierarchy. So here are our 28 basic cards, and here are our interference cards. So we're going to turn over our grimoire, and it says the form of testing. So what we're going to do at this point is, and you can see there's the circle of adept, circle of wizard, circle of master, circle of grandmaster, and circle of prince. They highly recommend that we take this circle adept. Here are our interference card. We have level ones 
and then some level twos. Oh, and even a level three, if we want a level three in there. Oh, there's another level three and another level three. We're not going to need level threes in this particular one, so we're going to take the ones. There's the ones, and there's another three, and we're going to take the twos. Did I see another three in there? No, 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 three. We're going to put them back in the box. We are going to shuffle the twos, and we're going to take one out at random. And then we are going to take two level ones. Let's take the middle two. And apparently, in the, in the hours of two to three, three to four, and four to five, we are going to add an interference card to the deck. This is our deck. That's the setup. And of course, our three damage tokens as well, and our three... Magical power tokens. So here we have our three magical power tokens and our three damage tokens. This is the setup. So it looks like we're going to be a 5-5-5 game once I figure this out. So that is as easy as this setup is. Bang! Done! Cruz. I'm going to be in the hospital. Going to need this. Let's go on. So we're ready to play. The first thing we're going to do is draw five cards from our deck. So we have one... Two, three, four, five. Let's just move these out of the way. These are the reference cards. We'll just put them into the box. If we need them, we know where they are. So, right away, and I'm not a big fan, but I did see this happen before, that this is an interference card that comes with the deck. Normally, we would put them in. If we can't summon them, we have to end our turn. We have no magic up here to summon anything. We would have to have like this tennist where we could scrap to gain a magic. So there's nothing we can do about this at all. This turn is a bust. Wow, that is not a good start for us. Now I'm just going to put these up here and we're going to put them right here. That's it. We're going to draw five more cards. A learned Tannis, one. We have a Max Candle, two. We have a Lodestone. We're going to need the Lodestone because we're going to have to sacrifice it eventually to get the Grand Circle out. We have to be able to summon our magical person. So a circle protection will allow us to sacrifice, that will allow us to sacrifice an artifact, a interference, or a tannist. So what we are going to play is our three cards. We can't really do the lodestone yet. We could put a circle protection out, but I don't think we need it at this point. So we're going to kind of let this one go. And you can see... We have lots of magic now here. We haven't scrapped anything, so we're good at this point. One. So here's our five more cards. Whoops. Let's uh, put them up. So we have a salamander. One. Two. A mirror. The, the next time a art card is sacrificed, sacrifice mirror and copy that sacrifice effect and or the other card. Re other card of the other card right okay that's a one-time effect well we're getting all our candles here now this is there's the grand circle but I can't do anything with it because I don't have a lodestone out so if I had been able to t do the lodestone and there's the book of packs scrap draw one card again the book of packs this is a key card so we can't sacrifice this or get it there or else we're screwed at this point in time this is a key card that we're going to have to sacrifice at some point. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to pay our two magic. One and two. To put out a salamander. So if we can get the book of packs out. We can always scrap it. We're not going to be able to do this. We can put a magic candle out. So we do need the book of packs. It is a key. 
but I don't see any problem sort of getting it out now. We don't have to sacrifice anything. So why don't we scrap, we're going to scrap our, and gain two. We're not going to sacrifice him yet at this point. We might do that eventually. And we'll do our max candle. So we're going to scrap them in order to put the book of packs up. Now I could sacrifice to draw a card and put the mirror in, but I don't think I need the mirror yet. This might be a good card when we want to sacrifice the book and the other keys. So we're going to just place that there. And you can see this is very much a solitaire game. Okay, here we go. We're going to pick up five more cards. We have Baphomet. We have to sacrifice the Book of Packs, Word of Power, and Grand Circle. Well, we have the Book of Packs. So we're not going to be able to use him. We have a Weeping Tree. Sacrifice, choose two different effects. Discard or scrap one card. Sacrifice one card from your hand. Gain a pa magic and draw a card. Okay, we have exercised water. Exercised water, yeah. We have a max candle. And a salamander. Well, let's see. Sacrifice would give me one card and sac sacrifice the deck for one card and sacrifice. Search the deck for one card and sacrifice it. Well, we don't want to do that yet. We certainly going to put our wax candle up here. There's a few of them in the deck. Um, let's see, the Weeping Tree, sacrifice, choose two different effects, discard or scrap one card, don't need that yet, sacrifice one card from your hand, gain a magic or draw a card, I don't think we need to do that yet, exercised water, sacrifice, sacrifice one card from, one card in the discard pile, oh, we do have two magic if we scrap that. And we have the salamander, and that will give us scrap. I'm, I'm just wondering whether or not to put these two up here to play our salamander. We could sacrifice this, and this would let us search our deck for one. No, that's scrap, sorry, that's scrap. If we sacrifice this, these are the easy ones. So let's take these two. To get our salamander. That, that would give us t two if we scrap it. We could sacrifice something in here, maybe. Cool. Well, you know what? Let's do that. We could take our... Oh, wait a minute. We could sacrifice... Yeah. We can spend the two to... Um, to get two... Spend the two to get the two magic, so we're going to scrap that. Then we're going to sacrifice this card, which means we're going to take out of the turn to take this guy out of play. So there we go. So we've just sacrificed this, and our salamander's gone here. This is a bit of a deck thinning game, and I can't use these two, two at this point. So far, we haven't used up any extra magic. So we're going to turn over five more cards. One, two. I don't know what this card is. I think that's just a card. Okay. Two, three, four, well, three, four. Uh, the golem, oh my, he's a special too. The golem says special. Sacrifice one tennis and pay two magic. While golem is being summoned or in play, you only take damage from using the wand of power. But we don't have... Oh, there's the one, the power. Sacrifice three tennis, preventing all... So we've got to get tennis in there. So we have a bowline. So we're going to put that up here. Actually, you know what? I I almost think that was a mistake because it is considered a tennis. So it might have been better to keep him in play. Well, well, hopefully we didn't screw ourselves up. He's a tennis. He's special. Sacrifice one and, and pay two magic. I, I think that was going to be a mistake. So we can't really play him. We don't have magic. We could sacrifice for two magic. But we have to sacrifice a tennis. Which we don't have. We could pay one. So we could pay one to sacrifice the bell. Then we can name a key curb. And we can scrap that and put the bell up. Okay, let's... Um, 
Tell you what, we're going to take pay our one. So we're going to scrap him for one, put our bell up into play. All the rest we're just going to let go. I think that was a mistake. We're going to find out soon enough. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to take the top interference card. We're going to put it in there. And then we're going to give everything a bit of a... Now, why the backs aren't the same? I, I don't know. Oh, well. Anyway. We're going to turn our arrow over. At this point, it says, Now the sun has veiled the light and did the world... And bid the world good night. To the self bend my body I dispose, but where shall my soul repose? Dr. William Fuller. Okay, so so here's a tennis. We're gonna want that tennis up here for sure. Um, I think we're gonna want it. We have another tennis. We're gonna want him up here. We could pay pay one and sacrifice the bell. I don't want to sacrifice these at the moment. Mirror, I, 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 okay, that's, again, this is my first playthrough, so I am not sure what the heck I'm really doing. I'm sure that, there's that lodestone, I'd love to get that in play. There's the wand of power, that would be great to have him pay. Sacrifice three tennis, preventing all the special effects so we can't use the special effects by st sacrificing them but and there's a succubus there right off the bat there you must summon this card at the end of the turn sacrifice and all cards at the end of the turn before discarding sacrifice succubus and all cards in your hand preventing all the thing you must summon this card it is a zero at the end of the turn before discarding at the end of the turn, you must summon this card. At the end of the turn, before discarding, sacrifice sickness and all cards in hand. I wonder if that means these. Let me just clarify that. What is that? Succubus. See if we have a clarification here on this card here. And it is a level of succubus. Succubus. If a key card or beverage are sacrificed in the game, you will lose immediately. Uh-oh. Let me just see. Though, what do they mean by hand? Now, that's a, a quick question. This is my hand, but it says, At the end of the turn, before discarding, sacrifice succubus and all cards in hand. Prevent all the... And prints all those. I'm going to take it to say that at the end of the turn, anything that left my hand is going to go there because I don't think it means you're going to sacrifice everything here. That doesn't make any sense. Sacrifice. Oh, sacrifice all cards. I mean, anything left in my hand is going to be sacrificed into this pile, which means I'm going to get lose them all. Well, <laughs> basically, we have these three. So we have to play that. Okay. See, if I lose this card, I'm going to die. So, at the end of my turn, special sacrifice three tennists, preventing all. He's a tennist. He's a tennist. He's a tennist. So I am going to sacrifice these three. Because he's a tennis. So thank God we could use him. That's my interpretation to play the wand of power. We certainly can play that. I would need four. I need the lodestone. Okay. So I can't really use this artifact. Sacrifice pays six. So I'm going to have to be able to get six up here um, at this point. So, uh, nothing I can do here at this point.
we have one, two, three, four. There's the grand circle, but I need my lodestone for that. And five. So we have all our candles. We have enough. We got plenty of candles here. We have four of them actually. Max, max, and max. We can put the take two of these and put our salamander into play. There we are. We can't do anything about this. I wish we had that lodestone, but one of these might help us do that eventually. And then five more. One, two, three, four, and five. So we could play four, scrap, 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 and get this devil in the hearth, or bam, pay one to sacrifice it, put one card from the discard pile either into your hand or on, on top of the deck. Ah, ah. So, I can't do much about it this turn, but thought I was screwed, but I'm not. I am going to take one of my magic candles to, to take a magic. Basically, we don't have any leftover magic when we do that. If we did, we'd do that. And then I'm going to play my Bison artifact to pay it. Then I'm going to sacrifice another one to sacrifice this. And then this is the sacrifice that... Put one card from the discard pile either into your hand on top of your deck. Oh, that's not going to help me. Hmm. I don't think that's going to help me this turn. Let's just uh, put those back. Uh, oh, okay. Watch. So, I'm going to spend four to bring up the Devil in the Heart. I'm going to put up my tennis. I'm going to, I am going to uh, sc scrap him for one. I'm going to play my bison. Okay, now I'm going to sacrifice our devil in the hearth, paying one, and I have four left, but when I sacrifice this, it lets me look through the discard pile. And I believe I can do that. And then I'm going to spend the other four on the lodestone. There we go. So these are gone. These are sacrificed. And there we are. We have what we have to get the circle of power up. We have no more. So these two are going to go here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. We know we can't play him. We can't play him at this point. We don't have the three magic. We have this bowline. We don't have the wand of power. Oh, we have the wand of power, so I can sacrifice one other card and play at the same or lower. We're going to need a fair bit of mana here in the next couple of rounds. Oh, special sacrifice one, one tennis and two, and two. Well, we don't have a tennis. So we can't play this. We can't play our weeping tree. Uh, we can't play him. Can't play him. That's fine. But the summoning circle is a good bet. So the next thing we're going to be looking for is that summoning circle. And we're going to. Uh, put that in our deck. Close our eyes so we don't know kind of where it's going to be when we do it. There we are. Give ourselves five more cards. One, the mirror. Two, three, four, and five. Oh, we don't have enough mana here. We, we need this, this, this bell pen. Pay this to sacrifice 
and reveal cards from the deck until you reveal the name card, summon it for free, and discard all the other revealed cards. Well, we don't have a ton of mana, so we're not going to sacrifice. I could pay this to draw one card and discard two cards. So let's play the one. Pay the one. Take our deck of cards. Whoops, pay the one. Sacrifice it to draw one card and then we'll discard two cards. That really didn't help. So we're going to discard one and two. Not that it really matters because at this point I don't have anything I can do right now. So that is the end of our turn. One, two, three, four, and five. There we have our grand circle. This is what we need. Can only be summoned by the lodestone. We have our lodestone, but we think six mana. Damn it. I think what we'll do is uh, hopefully we can get that next turn. So we're going to take our two candles, sacrifice them for the salamander, or scrap them for the salamander. Oh, and we're on our third turn. And what does that say? And this hour provides one magical power once. Oh, okay. Um, power once. Oh, that's that's good news. As long as we spend it before the end, because I, I, I normally if you have leftover at the end of your summoning, but this says at the end, this says this hour provides one magical power once. So at at one point we can use one. Okay, special divine circle. Uh, but I would need six mana, and I've only got three at the most. So, um, but we have one magical power to use. One, two, three, four, five. We have one, a candle, a tanists, circle protection, a salamander. That's good. So I am going to put out our, these two. Then I'm going to spend them to put out another salamander. And then I am going to, oh, I'm going to spend my one magical power to play this. It says, scrap wax candle and take vitriol back into your hand. I don't have any wax. Okay, so I have no wax candle, Drew. So I don't have that, and I can't play that circle of protection. Though it might be worth it. Taking a chance here to do that. But I think we need that in order to prevent whatever that's going to be. So we're going to pay the two. We're going to scrap. We're going to put our circle here. Um, we're going to pull out our two here, one, which is now a artifact interference. You must summon this card. When summoned, gain, gain for each sacrificed tenants. Oh, hopefully for each sacrificed tenants, the ossuary. And then what we're going to do is then take our... So how many tenants do I have in here? Oh, we have at least three in here. So I'm going to get wind up with three... Yeah, see, there's your three tanists, four tanists. So I'm actually got four magic. One, two, three, uh, four. Now I got to use it before the end of the turn. If I take three damage, I could do that. Um, but I have to summon summon this. So I haven't summoned it yet. So we might be able to get around that. Let's just see what else we get. A bowline, which is good. That's good. Uh, oh, we got our magic circle, too. We have one, two, three. Oh, yeah, I scrapped that, but I need it. I need it. We're going to play our ossuary. I'm only had allowed. Uh, this hour provides one magical. Nope, we're going to turn that. And it says... This hour provides only one magical. So this says this hour provides one magical power once. 
So we can use a magical power wand. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our ossuary down. I'm going to gain four power. One, two, three, four, which is not terrible. That's just going to give us a lot of magic. So he's played. If we play a candle and we're in chapter four, it's going to be a sacrifice instead. But I think that's okay. Because we have four power. So I'm going to basically uh, sacrifice this for one, which gives us five. Actually, I don't even have to do that. I don't even have to sacrifice this yet. Um, oh, that works. Okay. I'm going to play this, sacrifice it for five, play my bovine, scrap it for six, take my lodestone. I'm going to sacrifice it and summon this from my hand. So we don't have anything here at this point. So I'm going to put this back here. We do have a lot of cards in play. We could scrap this. I think what we're going to do is scrap this because this says wax. Oh, scrap one wax candle, take vitriol back. I don't have a wax candle, so I can't just scrap that. I could sacrifice and sacrifice an artifact or a tennis. So this could go. Because I really don't need it. So what I'm going to do is sacrifice this for this to get rid of that. So we're going to, those are sacrificed. And then a non-key card. Okay. No, no, no. I think we're good at this point. One, two, three. Four and five. This being four, these have to be sacrificed. But I think we're pretty good here if I use them. But I think if we do that, we could use, put these up for the two. So I think what we'll do is we'll play this. Then we're going to scrap one to scrap this. And it says, draw two cards at the end of your turn. Sacrifice your hand instead of discarding it. So I'm going to pick up two, one, and two. I was really hoping for Basima for Matt. Okay. Um, we can still take these two uh, to put him into play. Well, let's just see here. We could put this wax. We're trying to thin our hand. So we take this guy. We can scrap him for, oh, okay. Well, we could scrap him for three, sacrifice him for three to put our sacrificial lamb out. Lamb out. There we go. Then I would say that we take our two candles, sacrifice our two candles to um, put our salamander out. We can put our tennis out. Oops, let's put our tennis out at the very end of the line here. Do, 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 do. And we could, is this mirror, the next time the card is sacrificed, sacrifice mirror and a copy of that. No, nope, we don't need that. Okay. So we are going to, um, so I think now what we're going to do is we're going to have to go up to, uh, five. We're going to get another power. Now I think I took a damage cause I didn't use that power. That's a, that's a possibility. I don't remember. We'll take a damage. We have one, two, three, four, and five, four, five. We are now on the fifth turn, though. No. These are all the cards we have left. Was this best of them at? This can't be hit. We have. Do 
that basement should be in this pile here. Let's go see here. If not, we've lost them. There he is, Basfamat. Ill Omen. Ill Omen says you must summon this card when summon sacrifice it and sacrifice it and any one other mystical magical power if possible. Prevent any it prevents any so what's it saying? And one other magical power. Okay. One summon. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just sacrifice. And one magical power, prevent anything. Okay, well, just magical power right there. Okay, he's gone. Perfect. We have this guy, and it says sacrifice, book a pack, wand, and... So we really want to get rid of some of these cards here, because if we don't, we're going to get negative... Wow, okay. So what do we have here that can generate mana... We can't do that. The Weeping Tree. Choose different effects. Discard one. Okay, I'm going to play my Salamander to uh, put this up. Choose two different effects. So we are going to sacrifice this guy. Uh, discard or scrap one card. Uh, sacrifice one card from your hand. Okay. We can sacrifice a card here. So I'd say we sacrifice the bell. Well, these are all going to get sacrificed. So really what we want to do is sacrifice the gold. Whew, and draw a card. And we can discard this guy. Okay, no, sacrifice two different effects. So gain a power, which I don't need. Gain a power with that. I could then... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrap my... For three. I'm going to gain a power from this. I'm going to use this. That's my sacrifice. I'm going to use this... So the three plus the five here to put out the ghost. Then I'm going to sacrifice each one of these cards to bring out Baphomet. And he says, when summoned, sacrifice all other cards and play, preventing all things. Lose one point for each card. Sacrifice them this way. Oh, I'm going to lose two points. Okay, so that's two points I'm going to lose. We'll leave them to the side. And we have these cards here. Okay. So we have won the game? Maybe? So what's what's the points? End of the game. Uh, okay. How do you count points? Final scoring. Check if there are any cards remaining in the deck, which there are. Your hand and or the discard pile. If there is at least one card in any of the three zones you have lost and do not even have a dignity of recording a final score, check if there are car any cards remaining in the deck. I don't have anything in my hand. I have nothing left in the deck. Nothing in the okay. Um, in any of the any of these, if there is at least one card in any of these three zones, you've lost the game. So basically, I've still lost the game because. I still have a mitt full of cards. So basically, I've lost. As far as I can tell, I didn't get enough cards. Okay, I should have read the conditions. Check. So I haven't sacrificed enough cards. Check if there are any cards remaining in the deck, your hand and or discard pile. If there are at least one card in any of these three zones you have lost and do not even have the dignity of recording a final score. Well, doesn't that suck? So I, I made some assumptions, uh, playing it cold. I perhaps maybe should have read the, that a little bit more. But that's okay. So I still lost. <laughs> Though when I was watching the video run through, and I'm just going to um, 
Though while I was watching the video run through of the, uh, this particular game, the guy, the person who was running it through, had basically said he 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 doesn't he 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 has played twelve times before he actually won a game. So obviously, you know, not knowing the cards, one hundred percent was a, is a detriment to you know playing the game. So not knowing what was in, now I think I would do much better in the second part of this game because if I played it again I would probably maybe get closer to winning I am not sure if that would be the case but anyway that's fine I'm, I'm sad but let's go to final thoughts and um, have a quick view at what the heck uh, I think about this game so Alf no crazy little quick game uh, it didn't really take long to get into the the flow of it uh, a couple of things I didn't quite understand in terms of the those other cards that one card where it said sacrifice system do that and I wasn't quite sure what it did so there's a couple little quirky things here um, I did watch a run through didn't quite match this it seems that maybe and they weren't the same color so it looked like maybe there was a, 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 a play print and play that had a different, like a little bit of a different rule than what these were playing. Uh, overall, I liked it. It was a quick playing game. Five minutes to set up, five minutes to play, five minutes to learn. I love that game. Uh, cruise potential, absolutely wonderfully. So let's talk about the game in you know my no normal terms. First of all, the theme. I love this Lovecraftian theme, even though it doesn't say it's a Lovecraftian theme. You know, it, it's very much that. You have to do a whole bunch of things, but basically you you want no cards left over in any spot. So basically, you don't want any cards here. You don't want any cards in your hand, and you only want and don't want any cards here. So you have to sacrifice everything. And I didn't realize that until you get to the end and go ah. So I should have been a little bit more justicial about sacrificing stuff and sacrificing stuff early. Kind of the way it goes, right? So just that, just that little bit. Uh, but themes are good. Uh, the rules, I, the rules are pretty well laid out. Uh, there's land. The cards are the cards take precedent over the rules, except for one card. I think I understood it pretty completely. So I don't think it was an issue rule wise. So you know, we'll 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 say the rules are adequate. Uh, the components, the card quality is really good it's a bit flimsy and i can't sleeve them which really irks me but you know that's kind of me but they're slightly wider than the you know the typical 69 and a half and i have a 70 so and the only other size that i could go up to is an 80 which would be too big and that's the you know that's a, a mat size basically uh, 80 by 120 and that's and these aren't a 120 length they're, they're, they're the normal 90s so you're almost looking for like an 83 by 90 or an 82 by 90 or some weird thing. And I don't know if a card exists like that. So uh, I do want to, you know, if, you don't, if you're not a compulsive sleever like I am, it's probably okay. So it's a little bit of a negative, but, you know, the game was not expensive. Well, it was expensive because I, I the only place I could get it was Capstone Games. And quite frankly, the, the shipping was was more than I sh would have liked to play for that. So, you know, hopefully maybe it gets into one of their local stores eventually, but eh, a fun little game, I'd say. Overall, it's a fun little game. Certainly has potential for trips and cruises because we certainly like small box solo games for cruising. I could sit up there, have a couple drinks, bar, and just play it by myself, and it's not going to be an issue. So... With that being said, I mean, I, I think this is a good, solid effort. I, I wouldn't give it an 8 out of 10, which makes it an excellent game. I'd certainly give it a 7 out of 10 that says it's a good game, but it's not an excellent game. Would I play it again? Absolutely. Uh, I'm going on to surgery, as I said earlier. This would be a great game when I don't have to concentrate and just want to fling, 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 fling. Uh, though if you want a deeper sort of card game, there's the... Uh, Oh, the Noir, the Eldridge, the, what do they call those games? The, where it's the Eldridge Noir, the card game, where it's kind of like a solitaire and you're, you're trying to, the, the, the clues that you're trying to solve, which I find is a much deeper game than this. 
So this is a very, very lightweight game. Very dependent on luck at the cards. Very dependent that you probably, the more you play it, the more familiar you're going to get. Uh, then then you'll be able to get, the, what do I do with that card? How do I use it? Do I, when do I use it? And of course, I suffered a little bit of that right out of the box. But that's it. Done. We are out. Please subscribe. I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe, comment, like, do all those things you normally do. And uh, I'm going to try to get another video or two out before I go off on surgery. Uh, up, it, upcoming is do, 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 Pocket Landship. As you can see, it's another solo small box game. For some reason I like those. What can I tell you? Anyway. I am Harry Jacobs, I am the North of 60 Gamer, this is the North of 60 Gaming Channel, and I am going to see you later.